Yes. Restarted. Okay. Yeah. So quadratus lumbarum block, the indications are you can use this for abdominal surgery, you can use it for hip surgery, you can use it for iliac crest, uh, sort of, you know, graft. Uh, so, and you can use it also for chronic pain indication if somebody has got quadratus lumbarum pain, you can use it for that purpose. You can use it for scissor insection. There's a recent sort of, you know, paper out telling that it can be used for scissor insection. No, no, I, I do it so, every day. So, All you know, loads, loads Very of good. indication, loads of indications. Now, in regards to performing the quadratus lumbarum block, you need to actually find the highest, highest point of the iliac crest. And what you are basically looking for, what I call the thumbs up sign. What thumbs up means that your vertebral body is there. You've got your transverse process. The transverse process usually points towards the hypoechoic muscle, which is your quadratus lumbarum muscle. So that's what you're basically looking for. Okay? So always keep that in mind. So if he's lying like that, his vertebral body will be anterior and his transverse process will be pointing up. Then you are looking for three things, what they call is a clover leaf sign or trileaflet sign. So the muscle which points, or shamrock sign, the muscle that points top is your quadratus lumborum. The muscle that points forward anteriorly is your source muscle. And the muscle that points posterior is the erectus spiny muscle. Now erectus spiny is actually a group of muscles, it's just not a single muscle. There are loads of muscles that become the erectus spiny. So it's a group of muscles. This is what you basically want to understand. The topmost and most hypoechoic muscle is your quadratus lumborum, followed by your corpus, your source muscle, followed by your uh, erector spine muscle. If I want to do the block, personally, I do the block from posterior to anterior. The reason for that, because if you're coming anterior to posterior, you have, you have all these small muscles of the abdomen that are coming and joining. But the other problem is you have a kidney at the top. So when the patient breathes, the kidneys, along with the paranephric fat, is coming that way. The easier approach is if you go from posterior, there is no important structure apart from erector spiny muscle, which is obviously the muscle. You can go through, you can see the, the, the transverse process, and you just go on the top of the transverse process, so you're underneath quadratus lumbar muscle, because your quadratus lumbar muscle is sitting like that. This is for the patient with the right side up. If you are talking about the patient with the left side up, the anatomy will be very similar, mm -hmm. and you're looking for the thumb, mm -hmm. like that. So it will be it will be very similar. But you want to see the uh, vertebral body in front, transverse of the, the transverse process, pointing towards the quadratus lumbar. So we'll start scanning. That's good. Okay, look, right. So. So basically, in the top part of the iliac crest. Now, here you go. What we're doing? So this is the iliac crest. Yeah. No, 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 no. no that's the vertebral it's body. It's now. The iliac crest is all the way here. It's near to the probe. Yeah. Right? So, so. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you have to look there. Yeah. So basically, what you're looking for is, I say to you, you're looking for the thumb. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay. So, this is the so this is I'm going to freeze. I'm going to freeze the image, and I'm going to. Uh, get you guys correlated with this. Like yeah. So, so this is yeah. So this is so a thing or car thing seat or whatever you want to call. <laughs> As you could see, this is the outline. You have your vertebral body, you've got your transverse process, you've got your quadratus lumbar muscle. And because you're curve you're using a curvilinear probe, these are your abdominal muscles coming and forming the aponeurosis at the quadratus lumbar. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's what you know your in, in your if your internal oblique, your transverse abdomen is and part of the external oblique finishing there. Okay? And his erectus and that's your erectus spiny muscle because that's posterior and that's your so source muscle. Yeah. Where is the and this will be source muscle, so it's anterior muscle. Yeah. So, so that's it to you. Yeah. If you look at this, this is what I was telling you guys. Yeah. So you're looking for the quadratus yeah. lumborum, like, yeah. erectus spiny, and source muscle. So if you bring the needle from posterior to anterior, this will become your quadratus lumborum block. If you keep going forward, then you're in the source muscle. And that will be your source compartment. Block. So from here to yeah, posterior to anterior. So I'll show it to you again. So basically, what you really want to do is every time you're putting the probe, you really want to get that image of the the thumb. Now I'm putting the probe the other way around, okay? Because I want to see my needle coming from posterior to anterior. So you so really entry want point, entry point. Entry point will be see how many how many centimeters so deep that is. Yeah. That's about five centimeters, five and a half centimeters deeper. So the entry point will be you will come five and a half centimeters deeper. Okay. 
and your needle will then go parallel hit on the top of the transverse process if you hit the bone yeah. good sign at least you know yeah. what you see there is happening on the on the patient and then you go on on the top of the transverse process and you basically deposit underneath your quadratus lumbar for chronic pain we will inject in the quadratus lumborum muscle itself because it's a it's a usually the trigger point in the quadratus lumborum that we want to target if you want to do the source then this is your source muscle so you'll keep going forward see there is a fascia between now i'm going to reduce the depth and make it look a bit more more clearer to you guys so see there is a there is a fascial covering between your quadratus lumborum and your your source muscle so these are all in the fascia and whilst he's breathing do you see things coming down? Yeah. yeah. So take big breath. There you go. <coughs> lower pole of the kidney. Is it this? Yes. Yeah. Lower pole of the kidney. Exactly. Coming down. So basically, here you go. Right. That's lower pole of the kidney coming down. So that's why I don't like doing the anterior to posterior approach. Okay. Even though it is top, uh, it might. Yeah. It might. You know. You never know how. You know. Everybody's descent of the kidney is going to be different. Right. So and if the patient is ventilated. And if you're doing it at the end of the surgery, you might as well just play a safe approach and come from post straight to The other safe approach is you can go through the quadratus number of into source if you want to do a number of right. So you can still, come, still come from the back. <coughs> because okay. if you go too deep, deep here, isn't it? Yeah. You can yeah. Yeah. If you go here, yeah. it will hit the transverse process. It's very difficult to negotiate the needle. So you can come from here. So posterior, from same. Uh -huh. Never same come approach. from anterior. You go same posterior approach. Yeah. So you go through transmuscular yeah. uh, quadratus number. Yeah. And okay. then you can do the source compartment. So where do you, if you, you do for source compartment? Soas, soas is this one. That's a source muscle. Yeah. That would be your lumbar so, plexus. Now let's so put at the thumbs, thumbs up top is quadratus uh, lumborum. Mm -hmm. It's the most hypoechoic muscle. Mm -hmm. Front will be uh, soas, which back. will have a lot of white, white streaks at the lumbar And that's plexus. your lumbar plexus. And oh, back will be uh, erector spine. The erector spine are not doing anything. So, so and the other the body we are doing erector spinae yeah, block as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Just in the body, body of the source. Now, so just inside you can So the for the stimulate. replacement, do you do source? Well. Well. Now block, guys, we, the we, other we, advice we, I would always we, give we, you, we, keep in mind when you're doing this block, always put a color Doppler on, okay? Because the muscle is very vascular, right? And you know, uh, quadratus lumbar. Quadratus lumbar and same source. with source as also well. Source is also a very vascular muscle. You know, there have been reports where patients have had a local anesthetic toxicity after a blind source compartment block and died okay mm. so the local acid can get very quickly absorbed mm. so you really want to perform this block with a lot of caution where you want to be going in you want to be aspirating mm. injected aspirated inject and give you a lot of time mm. you don't have to bang in 20 ml straight in mm. give, give, give a bit of time because you know that will prevent you from getting a local anesthetic toxicity because you you're depositing it slowly into the muscle okay so that's that's what you would do. Uh, so for hip covering everything, where, where is the best one? Which is the best one? To Source do? compartment. So, so this you want to do? So yeah. you will do the same yeah. this yeah. approach yeah. For, yeah. This, yeah. for the hip yeah. replacement. Hip replacement. You switch on yeah. the um, ones. So that will be essentially a lumbar plexus under ultrasound. Yeah. 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 But there is no point in putting into the quadratus lumborum as well in addition to the. Source. See, 